It's your boy Lil Chris the Dunn. LC, you are now tuned in with lunch break sessions. They get it. I did 800 mil like Sean Combs. I'm always working, baby. Ain't no telling what I'm on. I'm talking money around the world, different time zones. I'm about to blow quick, baby, like a time bomb. Got my brother in this thing, he keep that biggie smalls. I'm notorious in this game, nigga, I want it all. Got my family in the trenches and they tired of starving. Got some niggas on the bench and they just want a ball. Did it, did it, yeah. did it. Hey man, what's happening, man? What what what's up, family? It's been a little minute, man. You know, shit, over what? Been about a year. It's been, it's been a year. Been a whole year, right? Yeah, yeah. Shit, you been making tremendous, you know, progress since we last. You know, you stepped yeah. in the game rapping last time, and yeah. shit, just in that one year, man, you done you know, made a lot of progression. So, so salute to that. Right, you know what I'm saying? Appreciate for that. real, for real. You know, how are you, man? Same to you. Hey, I appreciate that. Hey, you know, we're going yeah. up. You know, with the lunch break, we're going yeah. up. You know what I'm talking about? For real, like, you know, just grind hard and just stay consistent. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? That's something I see you've been doing. Yep. Just with the music, you know, so. All year long. Hey, man, chill. What's the number been going on here lately? Like, I see you got the. Well, let, 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 let me backtrack, you know, because, like I said, when you first, when you first did that interview, you were just, you know. Hopping in, rapping. I see you dressed and got longer. Yeah, you know man. what I'm saying. So you know, roster boy. <laughs> you know what's been new, man. I've been really just working on myself as an artist. Um, man, that's really what I just been doing. Well, I ain't gonna say as an artist. I'm gonna say as a person, as a businessman, as an individual, as a whole. I've been just trying to find myself, find my sound, find what I need to be doing in the, in this business because I be trying to, I got, I be going to put my hands in everything you did. Man, I see. So, so man, you got your, your track, that's, uh, Diddy. Oh, Diddy, you yeah. You know, you so you talking about putting your hands in everything yeah. on the entrepreneurship. You be the hardest young nigga working in my city. Hey, man, I see you, man. You yeah. living up to that, you know? So, you know, obviously, you know, it's got, you know, the track got inspired by Diddy, you know? What even made you just, you know, what you know, outside the inspiration for that, what you know, what made you, you know what made you even make the track, you know, what was the the creating components for that? Alright man. First, it's the beat. I'm just say that man, you know. And my work ethic, like at that time I was really going to work and making beats at work and you know what I mean, just like really grinding on the job and when I'm out the job, like but I bring my laptop to work, man. I just feel like, man. I just feel like I ain't want my work to go in notice. So I'm gonna be the hardest young nigga working in my city. That's how the idea came up. So Chase sent me the beats, and shout out to DJ Chase. Uh, he sent me the beats, and I was just really freestyling. Did it, did it, did it. You know, the beat. Well, that's a catchy. I mean, it's a catchy hook, man. Yeah. You know, even uh, even like the statements, like you said, I'm the hardest working. The hardest working young nigga in my yeah, city. That's a that's yeah. a that's a powerful statement. Yeah, I mean, you know, yeah. say the least. That's a powerful statement. You know, so I mean, like, like, how do you live up to just? How does one really as a rapper or I even say an artist? You know, artists you know say a lot of things in their lyrics. So how yeah. how how is the one to balance? The lyrics and reality, like you said, like that's a, like I said, that's a powerful statement. Just like you said, like right. just the lyrics in the song. So, how does one live up to those lyrics? How does one live up to them, or me? How do you live up to you to the lyrics? I just I just do what I say, man. You know, I say what I mean. What I mean, I I I I just make it happen, bro. Like I feel like in order to make it big or whatever you want to do, man. You got to put the grind in, got to put the effort in, you got to believe in yourself. So that would lead to me, that would lead me to feeling like Diddy, like working hard, my work is basically. Okay, right. You mentioned earlier, uh, you know, basically that you, you know, you were going back and forth with your job, you know, you know speaking basically like a nine to five job. Yeah, nine to five. Like, does that, does that, you know, burden you as an artist, 
as far as just like with the work ethic, you know, because I ask that because like, you know, you got some artists that don't, you know, they have nine to five, but they don't, you know, I guess shine that light or, right. you know, make the image like they're not working a nine to five. Right. So what's your thoughts of just having a nine to five and still working or managing and building, you know, your rap career? All right. Having a nine to five is cool. I don't want nobody ever think having a job is not cool. You gotta get the money. You know what I mean? Somehow, some way. Uh, being an artist and trying to manage a job and being an artist, um, I ain't gonna lie, I don't like it. You know, and I had to sacrifice. I had to go through a certain couple of jobs in order to make time for music, you know, this is this my passion. Entertainment is my passion. So, I just have to make time for it, you know, and um, I mean, I kind of got it figured out until we make. What ways, like, what ways do you, I mean, you speak on sacrifices, what type of sacrifices you, you know, have you made? Because I know you're still making sacrifices as you go. So just, you know, as, you, uh, as you've been on your path, what sacrifices have you, you know, have you made or just gave up in pursuit of the rap, you know, not even rap, just music. I sacrificed by putting my time, the time I, I can I can put into working for other folks, I just put it into the stuff that I want to do and I make it and I just try to benefit from it, you know, studio. I'm, I'm in the studio now, so if you want to come get recorded, I, I'd rather do that than be working for somebody else because I'm working for myself, obviously, so that's how I do it. I see you in the studio. I see you like, yeah. you know, we in the studio, studio, studio. studio location, man. Yeah. When we talk, you know, you was... My bad to cut you out, but studio, beats, just anything music related, that's how I'm making my profit now. Instead of working nine to five and waiting on it. So you've actually been making music off, yeah. man, excuse me, making money off music. Yeah, I've been making money, yeah. So how's that feel? It's different. It feel good. I don't have to slave for it. Uh, what type of, I guess, differences do you see actually like getting paid for music? Um, it don't it don't necessarily start off big how you expect it, but I'm not like I said I'm not slaving I'm not I'm not slaving for it I'm 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 sitting down making my money or I'm in the booth making my money or I'm just cooked up a beat made my money you know it's. That's that's really the difference, man. I don't, that's really what it is. That, that's that's the difference to me. I don't have to work no nine to five. I don't have to, I don't have to have nobody looking over me and supervising me, getting on my ass because I ain't or I'm not showing up or that's really what it is. You think that hinders you? Why you said that? I mean, <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I don't think it hindered me at all. Like, the job hinders me. Yeah. 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 It benefits me because I go to work to make the money, but it hinders me because I can't make the money how I want to. It makes as sense. Far as, the music. Yeah, as far as entertainment. Yeah. Well, you know, switching lanes, you know. You've been, like I say, man, like catching up with you. you and really, in 12 months, man, you've really been doing a lot. Yeah, Honestly, man. Honestly, bro, they like, you've been really been getting in, working with a lot of artists, yep. you know. You know, you have this collection, you know, this out of the family. Yep. Shout, out to, my, shout out to my family, man. Like, can you speak on that? I see, like, basically you have a project, the, the High Table. Yeah. The High Table is a project presented by Under the Family. Under the Family is me and my brothers. We're a brotherhood. We're not no artists. We not no rappers, we not no we businessmen. We did. And um we just took a step into the music business and dropped the high table, put it together. I made ten beats out of twelve songs on there and um we killed all of them. <laughs> Shout out to my brothers, man, honor the family. How'd y'all come about with that? The name, first of all. Uh the movie John Wick. It came from the movie John Wick, but um, 
we just we mafia man we family like you know it's just how we feel and that's that's how we move so how does that really work you know what i'm saying I'm making like, music with the family you know uh if you want to break it down the artists is me and kano we the main artists and my brother d hicks and my brother skip they handle the business so so it's more of a collective it's more of a collective it's more it's a, it's a family it's a family package it's a family deal it's family man i can't that's all i can really say so I can understand that. I can understand that. Yeah. Who else? Now, what other artists you been working with this year? Or in the past year? I worked with a lot of artists this year. This past year, 2018 alone. Um, I'm just gonna put it out there. My brother Kano, my brother Skip, Breon, um, Black Season, K Breezy, Mondrezy, Trey Nine. And I got a lot of more collaborations because I make beats too. So I'm just, uh, I'm not always rapping. So if you want to consider collabing on the beats and with other artists, I've been doing that too. Okay, so uh, this, this is a question like, which hat do you like to put on better, the rap hat or the producer hat? Uh, it got to be one or the other. I mean, you know. <laughs> I just like the other business, man. I like, you know. Uh, wait, but wait, you speak wait. a lot. I ask you, cause you speak a lot with the producing and then like me knowing you, like you making, you been, you pro, you progressed with the rap, but you started, you know, making the beats too. Yeah. So it's like watching the growth. It's like you were, you know, you were growing with both, you yeah. know, and like, and I've seen, like, you have a whole beat tape, don't it? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like outside doing the, you know, rap thing, you doing the thing with the. You know, producing, making the beats, so, and just seeing how you like, well, even when I mentioned it, like, you have this smile, like, you have this glow, you know, in your face with it, just like, so, uh, you know, going back to the question, like, which which hat do you feel is better? Uh, I ain't gonna lie, man. Man, that's a hard, <laughs> that's a hard question. Because you know, because you, you, well, your, your producer name is Wise G, right? Yeah. So, okay, so you got Wise G, the producer. Yeah. And LC. <laughs> The artist, yeah, you know. I which is the better hat, or which hat do, do you like? You know what I'm saying. I like. I, I'm gonna be honest. I like making the beats more at this point because I'm not all the way comfortable as an artist. I don't feel like my sound has fully developed. So I like make. I like staying behind the scenes more. I, I've been a behind the scenes type of guy. What's the difference? So you. What's the difference? Yeah. Between being an artist and a producer, or or, 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 or my answer? That's what you asked. A little bit of both. That's All right, I'm gonna answer the artist and producer. All right. All right. Um. I kind of don't. I I kind of like doing. I, I I love making music more, but I. I said I disagree because I don't I disagree with loving well loving music more because I'm not comfortable with my sound. So that's the best way I can explain it. Um You said which one do I love more? Being a producer or artist? Okay. Oh, artist, yeah. Which hat do you prefer? I'm just which hat well which which Oh uh, which one do I prefer? Yeah. I prefer being an artist more, like cause because it just opened up a new gate for me to express myself and get other people to feel how I feel, you know, or or just getting people to relate to my music, basically. Like, what type of feedback have you been getting since you've been rapping? At first, it was just like, eh, you alright, you alright, you alright, you alright. You right. And now it's getting to the point where you starting to find your sound. You know, you getting better. Like your delivery is getting better. Your sound is getting better. Like within a year. So within a year, I went from, mm, you need to do this. You need to sound like this. You need to to your sound is actually getting better. Do you do? You, you said you're still working on your sound. So you said yeah. you haven't really fully nah. developed. Nah. Just, if you can best describe it currently. 
do you like how do you feel like you can describe it? Describe my sound. Your sound. In the best way, because like you said, you haven't fully developed it, so let's say it's a work in progress. So and right now, how would you do describe your work in progress or your current work in progress of the sound? <laughs> that makes sense. It kinda do though. Um how I would describe my work in progress with my sound? Um, it's, I would just say it's getting there. I guess <laughs> it's getting there, man. Uh, it's a word I'm looking for, though. I'm just say it's getting there. That's all I gotta say. I, I couldn't. I couldn't really think of a good word. Well, uh, then let's know. Switching other gears, you know, basically like in you no know, rap, hip hop world, you know, it's progressing. I'm. That's what I want to say. Progressing. Okay. Yeah. I'm saying that's, that's real. So basically, what I got was getting to. Um, progressive. Dallas, man, like the city, you know, is definitely rising. You get what I'm saying? Like, as far as in the music scene. <laughs> bro, I love you know, Dallas, like, bro. You <laughs> just hey, don't know. Right. But yeah, you're right. What's your thoughts on that? As just far as seeing all the city that's being, you know, growth musically. All right. Originally coming from Louisiana to Dallas, Texas, and just messing around with the entertainment, I've been seeing major growth, major development. Um, man, it's just been, it's been real historical, real talk. That's real, that's real. Like, where do you see it, you know, where do you see it going in the next, like, where do you see it going? Because, I mean, like I say, man, the city is hot. You got Yellow Beezy. He's kind of holding the torch, you yep. know, shining that light, you yep. know, to the city. Like, where do you see the city going? Shit. Past Atlanta. <laughs> Bigger than Atlanta. That's how I feel. Bigger than Atlanta, man. You know, Atlanta known for their music, but I feel like Dallas, where it just really been it. It just hasn't been getting notified. Why is no, that? Noticed, I mean. Why is that? Um, I partially bl blame. I, I ain't finna sit here and blame people from the past. I'm just blaming the people right now. We ain't really put the... We haven't... We set a trend for ourselves, but we didn't follow up. That's the reason why. We set a way for ourselves that we didn't follow up some years ago. But now, you know, it's time. History repeats itself, man, every time. Okay. And it's, it's, it's coming back around. Okay, how would you define Dallas culture? Did we have this conversation before? Uh, Look at him. <laughs> uh, have we? I, I mean, think we have. have probably, camera. probably, like not on, not on camera or something. But Dallas culture. Cause like I said, like I said, going back to like Yellow Bees, you know, that everybody talking about the shags. And yeah. Even on the last interview, yeah. you know, you know, like I said, you you start the trampoline team with the. You know, with the whole dance jig movement, yeah. you know, that became a whole, uh, that became a whole world up in, on its own, you yeah. know, so like, you know, fast forward and now, the way Dallas is, you know, pivoting, becoming like, with, becoming what it seems to be a, a pillar in the music industry, like, how would you describe, in, in your opinion, Dallas culture? Dallas culture lit in a motherfucker, dog. That's where this shit... Duh. All that A, all that uh if you ask me man, all that rage, all that turn up, all that you could say dance too. Like it's just lit. That's Dallas culture lit, man. Uh I feel like we started that the wave of really just doing whatever, being ourselves, you know, like we start, I feel like we started there, especially with T-Team. That wasn't just, we weren't just trying to dance. We were trying to be everything, entertainment. 
you know. Um, lit, bro. That's all I can say. We lit, bro. We been lit. We just ain't we ain't follow up like we was supposed to. Like it's following up now. Oh, we definitely following up. I heard you doing a T team reunion, a trampoline team reunion. Like, like what's the, what's what's the what's the insight on that? Um, I plan on doing that in 2019. I want to plan it the proper way. And um, I'm just say I need everybody to be there. That's it. I can't give you no more info information. Like what, like what do we what do we to expect? <laughs> if you can give some type of insight, man. Expect a lot of fun. Expect for the city to come out. Cause I'm trying to bring the city out. So yeah. it's gonna be like you revamping the wave. I'm revamping. I'm, I'm revamping, man. Yep. Like. People like artists nowadays, they dancing in their videos, the, the artists or dancers and stuff like that. Like we been doing it. So that's all I'm trying, I'm just trying to revamp the whole So do you feel like the like this even these trends and all the, like these dance trends and all these, you know, challenges, do you feel like that's been bit off from from, from the T team? Definitely. And not just T team, that is culture. Dallas culture. Yeah. That is culture, definitely. So you feel like do you think, or how much do you think as far as Dallas culture has really just been bitten off into the mainstream? Or even Texas culture for that? Oh, that's a whole different lane. Everybody love Texas. Everybody fuck with Texas. That's one thing you know about the U.S. It's Texas. That's one thing. But uh, Dallas culture, I just feel like how rap is nowadays just with the clever the clever rap patterns and just how what people be talking about nowadays it just stem from Dallas culture freestyle just hopping on the mic saying whatever like cause they just saying whatever nowadays so just in a clever way